All right, folks, welcome back to the channel and to another Hickory Hacker course vlog. This week, we're going to do something a little bit different. This is more of a Hickory Hacker short film than a course vlog, but I'm very excited to bring it to you because it was one of the highlights of my 2022 golf season. This is Wawashkimo Golf Club on Mackinac Island in northern Michigan. I'm here with my buddy Andy Groh. Andy actually grew up on this course in the 80s and early 90s with his dad, who is the caretaker. And uh, Andy will tell you more about that as we go. But just a time capsule of a golf course. Hasn't changed much at all since 1898. Uh, it's actually the site of a, of a battle in 1814. We'll tell you more about that as we go. But the course was designed by Alex Smith in 1898, not long after he arrived in America, and is basically just carved out of existing farmland and apple orchard and hasn't changed much at all over the years. As I mentioned, Andy grew up here on the course and a lot of reminiscences for him to share. So that's the caretaker's cottage. Okay, um, is that where you and uh, your dad were living? Yeah, okay. uh, when we first, when he first started here, there was, it was, there was nothing. It was a busted up old building. Oh, wow, so there. he fixed it up into? No, they, oh. they the club rebuilt okay. it. I mean, Got it was, it. it was, walls were down, no ceiling, no roof, nothing, so. Okay. Uh, garage back there. I think the garage was there, and they've extended it out um, since my dad left. This is the caddy shack. Okay. And um, that's where we actually would sleep when we first started here. Wow. Uh, that's small. Yeah. It's just a single. <laughs> it's basically room. a little cabin. No running water. No. Uh, just two beds and a locker. That was what it was. Wow. And then the clubhouse. I mean, the yeah. clubhouse is. is 1899. We thought. 1899-ish. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, so this round is sponsored by McIntyre Golf. I'll be using the McIntyre Park and Braid Balls to go along with my 1890s gutty set. Won't be keeping score, but uh, Andy and I are mic'd up for this round, and Andy will be telling you uh, details about the course that you otherwise wouldn't know uh, if you hadn't grown up here like he did. So you, this is your uh, Alex Smith set? Or? Yep, Alex okay. Smith. All right. See how he does for me today. Playing Alex Smith on the Alex Smith designed and built course. And I'll be happy. That'll work. Oh. Yep. Topped it. I gotta put this mic in a different spot. It's in my <laughs> swing. Well, it's all right. Moving the chains. Oh no. Oh, hang on, hang on. You're alright. There you go. Nice shot. Thanks. Oh, you're good. Alright. So the one one of the tricks on this course. Uh, when you get to the heather, when you're anywhere near the heather, is when your ball goes in, you have to stare at that spot. Okay. The minute you look away, don't you even go look it. for your ball. <laughs> okay. Almost got a birdie. <laughs> oh, no, don't go that way. Stop. There's a bunker on that right side. Okay. Played 27 holes yesterday, and I'm feeling every one of them right now. Good house and uh, raise a lot of money, and uh, it was a hell of a good time. He's playing with Whoa. gutties. That's okay. why he's. Uh, Can't say I've ever played them. So uh, you're not seeing much of it here in this part of the fairway. We'll find another fairway to show you. But uh, this used to be an apple orchard in the 1700s, and there are little furrows in the fairway where you can kind of see where the orchard used to be. And uh, back in the day when they made the course, they had to use horse and plow to flatten the land. And, you know, they can only flatten it so much. So the uh, furrows are still here, which is pretty cool. In classic fashion, I've given myself a bit of a difficult shot here. There's a bunker here I'm trying to avoid on the left side. Classic first hole for me, just trying to get loose. That's not going to do it. There you go. Oh, Ooh. that would that would have been something amazing. That would have been amazing. 
You putting for par? I am. All right. Not very well, but I am putting. <laughs> I don't even know how many strokes I'm up to right now. I think I think this is for uh, I think this is for par. Is this for par for me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should be known that Andy doesn't know how to count. He's made it pretty far in his life <laughs> with, without that ability. <laughs> going. All right, going. didn't read the break it on that at all. Well, there's no break there at all. Oh. All right. That was a mess. <laughs> so I'm going to use a combination of braid and park balls today. The braids are cheaper balls, so I don't mind if I lose. I don't want to lose anything. But if I have to lose one, I'd rather lose a braid than a park. I'm also going to be throwing into the mix my hand-hammered gutty ball. This is a Wilson Duo Soft thrown in the toaster oven at 375 for about 12 minutes to melt the dimples. And then I use a uh, kind of a hammer chisel to put the markings. This would have been a ball like used in uh, 1870s, 1880s. So uh, have at it, Andy. Sure. Show me the way. <laughs> you may not always want to follow my way. <laughs> Andy's advice on this hole for me was to avoid the trees on the right. <laughs> So, and th so 11 T is back over there. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be so even it's even more more, uh, more, of a, more of a good time. So that is the other thing uh, we should mention. We've got nine holes, but 18 T boxes, so you can play the nine different ways, um, and we'll be doing that today too. Very nice. This Alex, is Andy's home Alex course. Alex is by with the way. me. So Andy's going to be going low, most likely. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> no, he, he will be. That was my last good shot. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this is my Paxton General Iron, circa 1894. Oh. Watch it. Oh, you're good. I was flirting with the right side there, but yeah, you're okay. I'm all right. All right, I'm safe here. Just got to keep it on the left side. I'm going to go back to the Paxton. No, I'm actually going to go to the Mashie. So I'm using the Braid Limited Flight here, and um, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, flies compared to the park. I'm not, you know, getting a lot of distance out of the park, obviously. That's a synthetic gutta percha. That's pretty much as close as you're going to get to an authentic gutta percha ball. Um, the braid is a modern ball that has, it's a modern limited flight ball with the line cut pattern. So the flight should, you know, distance should be about the same. All right, I'm in the fairway. So there's a swale. You'll be able to see it when you get up there, but there's a swale of rough that comes in up here. Okay. And I avoided that for sure. Don't go in the... All right, I got it. Middle of the fairway here. The ball's settled in a little bit of a depression there, and my feet are going to be... I'm just loaded with excuses today as to why... It's fine. That's what golf is. It's a walking excuse. <laughs> it's an excuse to walk and a walking excuse as to why you're not paying, playing well. Yeah. I had a feeling that was going to happen off that shot. And I you're just okay. Stop. I was telling everybody on the uh, last hole that uh, we played 27 yesterday. So that's a, that's a really good excuse. That's, yeah. As a... Uh, you know, middle-aged man, I think I, I'm owed that. 
as a potential excuse as I, to why I might not be playing well today. I, I know that I am. I, I, might, I won't let my dad hear that. But <laughs> All right. I'm just going to pop this out of here. Yep. That's about as much as I was going to do That's about all you can do. There you go. Oh, stop, stop, stop. All right. Okay. It is a humid one today. It is, It's and it's still, which is not. It's not raining, though, which it no. was supposed to earlier in the week, so happy about that. I just feel like this microphone is in my way in every swing. Can't start a swing without an excuse. That's my new rule today. <laughs> there you go. Sit down. Settle. Simmer. All right. <laughs> in the land of bad decisions, that was a great one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would have preferred the mashie right there. Yep, I, I would have too, actually. <laughs> a little wet. <laughs> yeah, we got some, some morning dew. I think we're going to have dew all day. Ooh. All right. I'm going to use the mashie on my shot, even though I don't have that much to get over here. I feel more comfortable using the mashie, no matter what set I'm using. Yeah. Pre-35 or gutty. It's these kinds of shots with a little bit of green to work with. Yep. I'm way, way more comfortable chipping. I know that goes against some of the modern philosophy where you basically use your putter as soon as you can. In this instance though, I think the mashie is the club. That would be a great way to set up a chip in here. Let's see. Nice shot. Hit it. Oh. For a split second, I thought that was going to peel in. So I haven't talked about the uh, mini adventure you have to go through to get to Owashkamo. You um, first start by ferry. Well, first you drive. You got to drive all the way up to northern Michigan, Mackinac City. Then you take a ferry from the mainland to the island. And then you take a horse-drawn cab to the golf course. What, um, what is the basic uh, rule for motoriz motorized vehicles on the island? There are none allowed, basically. There's fire, a couple of fire trucks. There's a couple of ambulances. There's a couple of cop cars. Okay. Um, and then there's some city, you know, utility type workers. And then the state has a bunch of heavy equipment and whatnot. Okay. But you very rarely see it. They keep it well hidden. Yeah. And there's a debate about whether or not you can use electric bikes here right now. There are a couple of those scooting around. Oh, nice stroke. Yeah, had the right pace there. Just yep. not the right line. Okay. When you look out there, you see those two bunkers in the fairway. Yeah. Those were not originally there. Okay. So one of the things that my dad did was consulted with and talked to numerous, uh, not like dozens, but numerous, of our, numerous architects about places that things that could be improved upon while still retaining the completely natural and how, how we're, you know, it should feel that way. Yeah. So we put those two bunkers in on the left there. Yeah, it looks like it's part of the whole. It, it does. And, and it, it plays, it plays just like it too. Yeah. It's, it's a kind of a strategic spot for people to, you know, keep in mind off the tee. Yep. Unless you're me and you never reach them. So you don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about it here either. <laughs> Shot. Oh, Ooh. wow. 
I found some of the hard, uh, <laughs> the yeah. hard ground. Using the braid again here. The Paxton General Iron. Whoa. Hang on. That thing had some Phil Necro movement on it. <laughs> you got a line? I, yeah. I kind of do. It... Okay, I moved the microphone. I'm hoping that uh, helps my swing a little bit. Hopefully you can still hear me. I've moved on to using my... I lost my braid off the key there, so I'm going to try my hand hammered gutty bro, uh, gut approach uh, ball right now. Nice shot. There you go. Watch that. Get a line on that. I see it, yeah. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> I got lucky. All right, so tell us about the uh, circus ring. So, circus ring was put in place. It's, it's original. A lot of people think it's like a gimmick or something. Um, it's not. It's original. It was taken out for quite a few years. And in 1985 or six, my dad uh, restored it, put it back to uh, its original thing. It used to be 18 to 24 inches tall. Wow, okay. So what you, is it about now, do you think? Well, it used to, uh, probably 12 to 18, right? It used to encircle the entire green. Really? In the, so there the, wasn't even an opening? Wasn't even an opening. The original one was uh, completely encircled it. And the reason that Alex Smith put it there was to promote carrying and lifting the ball okay. over an obstacle as opposed to the traditional Scottish run-up shot which you know there's a, a lot of that on this course so found it cool uh -oh. uh, that's too firm no, oh I you just... wanted back and over here I am just sitting up on it okay yep I got it I'm buried in the circus ring Ooh. Andy's buried in the ring. I'm just sitting up. I got lucky here. That was weak. Yeah. Good. I think it would actually be cool if they put him in the Oh, place. come on. Come Get on. No. Oh. I know. <laughs> You sure it's not the putter and not, not the, the ball? Yeah, I think it's the putter. <laughs> no, it's nope. definitely the ball. It's the ball, 100%. It's got to be the ball. Okay, so we got um, the green on the other side of this mound. Relatively short par three, but you can't see the green. You can only see the flag. Man, it slopes away from you. The whole thing does. Hey, I caught the tee. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. That's oh, cool. damn it. Yeah. Dude, flipped up and caught it. <laughs> Play. Let's see what happens. No, no. Oh, oh, you got a bad bounce there. I did. Yeah, I think it would have been nice. Would have skimmed over the top. <clears throat> That's okay. It was good contact. Andy said that the grass on this hill is usually taller. So that would make it even more intimidating because you wouldn't be able to do what we're doing right now, which is just get into the hill. All right, there I am. Smaller green, but I got some room to work with here, so let's see what I can do. Get up there. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason I was tentative on that.
Stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, that moves pretty fast down there. Good putt. Thanks. I, I don't like putting with this. I really want to get back to playing with the park if I feel like I'm not going to lose it. It's funny you're complaining about the ball, but look at the shaft of your club. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> the grip is just... I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> Tom Stewart oh. probably okay, rolled come over on. in his grave to see this <laughs> condition of this What the hell is that guy doing? Well, he made the head, though. He didn't have anything to do with That's the true. <laughs> or the grip. Good putt. Yeah, turn that club over again. Nice shot. So right here, okay. this tip of this hill, there's a hill right there. Okay. Um, in this area, there are 13 American soldiers from the um, August Battle of 1812 that are buried in there. And are they actually? Do they have graves right now, or is it no, still? No, it's a, unmarked? it's a, it's a unmarked, um, unmarked thing, but. Uh, it's technically, I guess, technically, it's a national, uh, yeah, it's a national you know, cemetery. National cemetery. Do they so. have any kind of uh, protection or, I, you know? I think they do, but it's nothing that there is like actively, I guess yeah. is the best word. I'm not sure how to say that, but. Right. So, I mean, nobody, if you didn't know that, if you weren't with me, I wouldn't know that that's going on back there. Until you get over to number six and there's a sign there okay. that talks okay. about it. Got so it. that's one of the things that they're, you know, that they're kind of good with is that recognition of that. Yeah. Now watch this drive. Thanks for that. <laughs> Sorry. I, anytime I get an opportunity to do the old George W. Bush line, he's explaining how they're going to root out the terrorists. Like, now, now watch, watch this drive. This drive. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite presidential lines. <laughs> Little green slope drops off on the front, and you got two uh, pot bunkers on either side of it. Those don't really come into play; they're far enough off. Yeah. We're well, looking at a green that's you said about two thousand square feet. It's around twenty-two to twenty-four, I think. And that would make it one of the smallest in the country. <laughs> that's what everybody says. Yeah. Sure feels like it when you get up there. Oh, that'd be nice. Get up there. Oh, dude, hang on, hang on. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even see that hill from here. Nope. <laughs> so, interesting thing we want to mention here real quick. I mean, this is a, a very common characteristic of old courses is to mess with your depth perception when you don't have obstacles to overcome and things like that. From where I was standing, I did not see that the green was set up on a bit of a hill. And it wasn't until I hit my shot just to the front of the green and saw the ball trickle all the way back that I realized, oh, there's actually a hill here. And, you know, trees and no trees, that can add depth perception issues for you as well. Um, so just a cool feature. Yeah, well, they, they weren't here um, a long time ago. So it was probably uh, an even tougher green to hit back It was, day. because you could not tell, you, you just lost any sort of balance with, with how deep you were going. Right. Um, and uh, it was kind of nice too, because from the clubhouse, you could stand on the porch and you could look out and see everybody on okay. the course for the most part. So, oh, okay. but yeah, those trees have changed that, uh, yeah. changed that view a bit. A green like this is diabolical because you don't have a lot of room to work with, but you have to really you know, hit it to get it up this hill. So you're almost you know, guaranteed, unless you put on the, uh, you know, place a perfect shot in the front of this hill to just trickle up, which is what I'm gonna try to do. But yeah, got to hand it to the Alex Smith for this as a design element. That's not going to do it. Oh. 
yeah, I'm just, I'm really tentative here because I know if I give it too much, it's just going to skim right off the back, but maybe that's not a bad thing. Oh! <laughs> Alex is smiling right now. <laughs> He's doing exactly what he wanted. Yeah. There you go. Nice shot. Thanks. Only took me three. I can get this entire green in the shot. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I love this. This is awesome. Thanks, Alex. You didn't help me at all there. <laughs> I love hills like this where I can get down to ground level. Yeah, you can stand straight up almost and yeah. still see. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hit this putt. Here's my naked putter shaft again. <laughs> nice putt. Oh, yeah. Take that, Alex. <laughs> he, you know, he got actually what he wanted. <laughs> he he did. chips to get up here. Oh, watch that closely. All right, you bounced, so you might be okay. Just remember which branch. <laughs> okay. All right. That'll play. Okay. So yeah, this is just uh, limestone piled up here. Yeah. Yep. I like that they put these signs out, but yeah. Yeah, in New England, uh, we've got similar characteristics uh, they're called chocolate drops where they would just move the rocks we've got those over on number eight do you yep. okay yeah i think that was just kind of not a new england thing it happens a lot in new england but it does, it's not yeah. a new england specific thing for sure so i mean it's a it's a it's a penal you know bunker right. but um it was since they didn't take the byproduct of golf course building off site why not reuse it right there so yep. Yeah, the, the, the big thing to keep in mind about this course is that um, anything you wanted to do to it that required, required equipment, you'd have to have it brought over on a ferry, which is super expensive, which is one of the reasons why this course hasn't been drastically changed over the years, because it's just too costly, but that's to our benefit, because now we get to experience it the way it was designed. Now, uh, here's uh, right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lucky with the heather. I don't know what you're talking about not wanting to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> you are lucky, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, just gonna get this back into play using the mashie. Yeah, you're and out. I'm out of, out of it. Yeah. In the fairway. So this bunker up here on the right is another addition that Dad uh, Dad put in after consulting, you know few architects here and there and and you'll see it's nice you know well placed deep bunker and kind of fits the fits the location there you go good contact on that yeah, that's my best shot of the day by yes far. it was by far okay i was just explaining that this is a tougher shot for me right now because it's in between being a putting stroke chip and a wrist hinge chip for me so i'm going to try a little bit of a small wrist hinge. That's nice. Yeah, it's still going to run back past yep. where I wanted it, but getting closer to zeroing in on the right speed. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Oh, cheated. All right, that tree stump back there has an interesting story. It's a tree that fell down in 2012, and tree ring analysis showed that it was actually standing there 200 to 220 years ago, which would have made it a witness to the battle that took place here, killing the American soldiers that are buried in there. So. The sign doesn't specifically say there's soldiers buried in there, but uh, there are. Got to 
hit it harder than that. Right over there, there's another cross bunker, but it's on the second half or the right half of the fairway. Okay. So as long as you stay to the left, you're fine. But when you're hitting blind off of here, if you don't know that. Yeah, and if the heather's growing up a little if bit. If the heather's growing up even. Yep, exactly. That's a great shot. That's a nice shot. Ooh, I might find that cross bunker. Oh, you just landed on the other side of it. Oh, nice shot. Get over there. Go right. Nice shot. Thanks. If I start hitting putts with this, I'm not putting a grip on it. <laughs> shine it up a little bit. Condition it. Nice. I don't know. I think it's going to be the naked putter. I have never seen anybody not put a grip on a putter. Neither have I, I, but hey. I don't know why there shouldn't be. If it know. works, like that doesn't. Come on, stop. I can see why you'd enjoy playing modern clubs here, too. Sure. Yeah, and that's, you know, and that's the thing is that, like, like, you know, like, like Chuck was saying, like I've said, none of this stuff, these are the same tee boxes that were there, you know, in 98. I mean, look at how close you are to the green. There's no walk between stuff. Right. But. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't take a picture of that. But it's a playable course with any, you know, you can come out, I mean, one and five are long far, far fives. Yeah. And they're not, they're not short par fives. They're, and like I said, number one was back before, yeah. even, even before modern clubs. Watch it hit. Oh, ho oh, oh, dude, you're you're in the fair. Well, yeah, the fairway or the first cut. I don't okay. know what they. Yeah, that was a friendly bounce. Off <laughs> it the, was uh, a very. In the middle of my swing, I figured out what the noise was. It's a military reenactment. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I figured it out. Mid swing. <laughs> Good time to figure it out. Yeah. Right? Uh oh. <laughs> One jump in. Yeah, you'll find that. Nice shot. Thanks. Got some wind kicking up now too, which is really great because it was super still and humid earlier. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's turned out to be a beautiful day, and it's, there's a nice breeze. It's cloudy, so the sun's not bothering us. Get out? No, I'm actually going to play back. Okay. So, yeah, it's uh, conditions are turning pretty nice. Nice little shot. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. The right idea, though. Yeah. Let's walk you in here. Yeah, the weather has changed considerably from the front three, four holes of this round. It's really windy now. Well, the thing that's crazy, I mean, that's 10 minutes ago. There was nothing. Yeah. It just starting up. Every once in a while, I think you're probably hearing some airplane noise. That's because of the airport right next door. I mean, I shouldn't shouldn't talk too surprised about that we flew in on we did plane. on our private jet yeah i think i just heard him take off though to go get some lunch for us oh so. great yeah because we were waiting for snake and lobster <laughs> in the clubhouse at the turn slow down i didn't really pay attention to that <laughs> you're thinking about steak and lobster yeah. <laughs> i love this is my favorite kind of weather to play golf in. it's absolutely 
This is what I'm counting on in Scotland. My buddy Tim hates playing in wind. Oh. And if I was a better golfer, I would take advantage of that in our little match play competition, but he still <laughs> ends up beating me no matter what. <laughs> but I just love playing in wind like this. That's nice how much I love playing in wind. <laughs> You gotta play the wind now. 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, I didn't have a thing to worry about. That's a good strike, Tim. That's not a stinger. <laughs> <laughs> you can re-sting it if you want. No, I took too much turf on that one. All right, that was not a stinger off the tee, but we're in the wind, so I'm gonna be trying the stinger on every shot here, basically. And one of these is going to work, I promise, and that's the one I'm really going to be proud of. That's, uh, that's closer. That's actually probably what you want to be doing right now anyways. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So, <laughs> I mean, my stinger's not going to travel like tigers, but if I keep it low under the wind, I'm going to get a lot of topspin on it, and it's going to roll out. Yep. There, there he goes, right there. Uh, well, he's going to get that lobster and steak. <laughs> Alright, well he'll be back to take us back to the base. Nice shot. So I see the fairways going uphill here too. Yes sir. Okay. We'll walk with this up to my ball here. Yeah, we spared no expense on this trip, so we didn't take the uh, commoner ferry. We uh, we rented a Lear jet. I actually took, I've been taking lessons, so we didn't even hire a pilot. I'm flying the plane myself. You did a pretty good job, I think. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> but um, no, it, it's, that is the adventure. Half of the adventure is getting to Wawa, and then the other adventure obviously is playing the course and taking in the history here. All of which I'm thoroughly enjoying. Actually, off camera, I was, we were saying, uh, that, you know, this course is still technically under the radar for a lot of people, and I think it's, we think it's because they'll read about it and say, that sounds awesome, but I'm never going to get up to Mackinac Island to play it. Similarly to how somebody would say, oh, I'd love to play Augusta, it sounds beautiful, but I'm never going to get a chance to play there, and that's probably true. <laughs> so you should definitely think that. You <laughs> that know, that one's right for sure. That. <laughs> yeah, but as far as WoW is concerned, there's nothing stopping you from coming up here except for you know, a fear of long drives to northern Michigan and uh, a ferry ride. <laughs> or horses. If you're afraid of horses, then don't come here. <laughs> That'll play. All right, just plugging along. Great shot. Good bounce, too. Yeah. Took to the right. So, yeah, we're, we're just talking about the fact that there's only about eight inches of topsoil or so on top of limestone here. So all of the relics from the battle are pretty easy, or close to the surface. And um, there's a display in the clubhouse of all the different military items that have been found here over the years. Um, Andy and his dad came across stuff, uh, including cannonballs that uh, were in the fairway, just under a little bit of soil. So, yeah, there's a lot going on here from a history perspective. You could just geek out, not only on the Gulf here, but the uh, military history here, the American history, obviously. There's my ball, there's the clubhouse. Wrapping up the ninth hole here. I tell you what, man, I think you're playing this hole the right way today. Yeah. So that bunker right in front of the green there is not original. That okay. was another, actually that was one of what? The, that was the fourth placement, uh, the fourth bunker that we added, or that okay. he added. Yeah. Um, and it's in pretty much a perfect spot. Yep, definitely. Yep, and if you get in there, that one you have to, that is definitely you're coming back. Yeah, coming back out the back. Coming back out towards yeah. the, uh, right, the fairway. Towards the fairway. Yeah. Uh, another funny thing about that green, I'm assuming it's still the same, but because of all the limestone, when you try to cut a cup, 
and you oh. try to cut the cups there. Yeah. One day it took me nine times at least really? to find a wow. to, to be able to cut. The so cup. you kept hitting limestone before you yeah. get to the yeah. depth of the cup. Yep. So that limits the number of positions, obviously. It does, yeah. And I don't know if they've. I mean, you can't. They haven't pulled the green up and you know gotten rid of the limestone. One more stinger. I got to get up the hill there. If I'm lucky, it'll go in the uh, bunker. in the clubhouse. Oh, you're going to be, oh, get, oh, you're right behind the flag post. Oh, yeah. It's no problem. <laughs> For a good golfer, this is no problem. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Finish up strong here, up and down. Nice shot. Thanks. Ah. Come on down. There. Like it comes down a little bit. It should, yeah. Ooh, just caught my stiff neck. <laughs> you can't pre excuse yourself, dude. I, I know. <laughs> nice putt. Thank you. You know, I've used this for several holes now. Yeah? It's held up. It's held up, isn't it? Oh, oh, knew it right when I hit it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Through the magic of editing. So that'll wrap up our walk here at Wawa. I hope you enjoyed it, folks, as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. If you want to hear more of Andy's experience here, we've got an exclusive conversation on the member side of my channel, and you have to become a hacker backer to watch that exclusive content. Add your name to this list of Hacker Backers by joining through Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Details on both are in the description of the video below. And if you want to find yourself a Hickory Golf buddy to play with like I've got with Andy, join the Society of Hickory Golfers. Visit hickorygolfers.com for more information on that. That'll do it this week. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll be back next week with another video. In the meantime, here are a couple from the archive for you to enjoy. Thanks again for your support, folks. Take care.